What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. Man, uh, I've been getting a lot of people saying woo 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 about the money with uh, Bud and Spence saying that uh, and almost like Bud deserve an equal, equal share of the purse. That's just not how the game is played. You know, it ain't never been like that. Uh, you go back to when Floyd beat Oscar De La Hoya to, to get his, to get his, to put himself in the position he was in on a pay-per-view status. The man that's selling the most pay-per-views and considered the top guy in the division, Earl got all three of the belts. Only belt Crawford got is, well, I don't even know what the damn name of it is no more. Uh, it's been so long since he defended it against some real, you know, and uh, how do you, you know, he don't really have a lot of ground to stand on. He don't sell good. And you only got one title. And then when you look at his resume, I mean, you know, it's, I, I mean, it's this, and the welterweight division is this is suspect. I mean, I'm, these are facts. Look what he just fought, Avenues and shit like that. And you you've been a ch champion for five six years, ain't gave nothing, not one real competitor. I say outside of Sean Porter, uh, uh, an opportunity to fight for the belt. And then he pitched a bitch because he had to fight Sean. This dude, this dude is on another planet. He don't really want to fight Spence, but he'll do it for ridiculous money that's basically what he's saying and so his game is to just not to make sure he keep that belt and keep it from spence that i mean you know like i said i don't disrespect nobody out here but boy that is that you know everybody know what that is you know you, you already know what that is i mean you know so if i was arrow i mean you he got no choice but to move on past this dude he can't make this money without spence he can't spence can make good money without him that's been shown that's been proven. I mean, he just sold a fight for forty dollars and couldn't get a hundred thousand buys. I mean, come on, man. You know, uh, I didn't watch the fight now, but you know, I have seen, uh, I seen the replay of the knockout or whatever, and it was just like everybody knew you wasn't in there with nobody. You know, wins and losses don't mean nothing. It, it's, it's who you got the wins and losses against. That's what matter when you look at these people' record. Go look at uh, Avenay's record. The best. Win on his record is Shane Mosley. You know how old Shane was when they fought. I mean, come on, man. Uh, so I, I I just don't see how they have a fight. You know, if if this boy don't come down from space, I really don't. You know, uh, and the thing about it, if Andre Ward and some of these guys was really his friend, they would be honest with him and let him know. Look, if you really think you can beat Errol Spence, you ain't got nobody really backing you. No more. You ain't got top rank none. That you got to go over there and beat him and take that top spot. That's the way it's done. That's the way it's always been done. If you really think you can beat this dude, go in there and beat him, and then you ain't never gonna have this problem with money again. As far as your fight selling, you beat Earl Spence. Trust me, you would be selling crazy tickets no matter who you fight. You know, I, but I think deep down inside he not sure. You know, and uh. If you go into a fight that big with any doubt, you're going to lose. You got to believe 100% in your skills like Floyd Mayweather did. He was 100% sure he was going to fight De La Hoya whether his father trained him or not. He was going in there and try to get that spot because he wanted he wanted to be the, be the, the to be that guy. And you got to do what you got to do sometimes. So, like Earl Spence had to go over there to England and fight Kell Brook in a hostile environment. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. If you want to, if, if, if you really claim it to be what you claim it to be. And this is what proved to me, in my opinion, that he don't even believe he that. Because if you, if you, if you just hell of a fighter, like you say, I don't care what you get paid for Spence. It's going to be millions of dollars. Millions now. And if you beat him, if y'all get a rematch, you know you get to, you get to, you get to a uh, lion's share. And if y'all don't get a rematch, anybody you fight, you're going to make top dollar. I mean, this is this is common sense right here. That's why I said only thing I can think of is either he he's planning on retiring after he fight or Earl, or he don't think he can beat him. It's one of the two because this is this you know he don't have no ground to stand on. He really don't. He really don't. It's just only ground he got is the fact that he know Earl Spence won't that belt, and so he planned you know a, a, a certain type of game that we call in the hood like i said i'm not gonna say nothing like that about nobody out here but that's what he's doing you know that's what he's doing and it ain't gonna i mean it's cost it's gonna cost him more in the end playing this game than he gonna gain 
It really is. I mean, you know, uh, BLK Prime don't have. They not going. Al Heyman not going to respect that. He's not. You know. Uh, you got. I mean, I don't know. I don't know where he getting his advice from. But sometimes when you got a bunch of flunkies around you or people that's just trying to be your friend and tell you what you want to hear, this 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 is how you get caught up in a situation like this. You know. Uh, that's why I don't care how much money you get. You need to keep that one real friend. It gotta be at least one that been knowing you, that that know you, that ain't necessarily around you to get nothing from you. That's gonna be honest with you. Cause a lot of these dudes that's hanging around these cats, man, they just, they flunkies. They flunkies and new boys, and they gonna say whatever they think you wanna hear because they waiting on whatever little loose change fall out of his pocket. Real talk. I bet I, I I seen this I seen it too many times coming up getting money. You know that's, that's it's it, I mean it's it's it's, it's killers and goons out here that are sitting next to a dude who they know soft as a soft as a, as a bale of cotton, but he got that bag and they gonna ride with him and laugh at his jokes and everything else because he he he, he peeling them off off money and they don't ever you know they don't believe that they believe that's their best. They best opportunity to, to come up or whatever, you know. Uh, but you need to keep somebody that's that's gonna be honest with you in your circle that don't care about your feelings when he tell you something, and that you ain't bought. So if you if you want to act like you got an attitude, he don't really give a fuck because he's really your friend. And if you can't handle the truth, then then step, you know. But somebody just talk to that boy and be honest with him, you know, uh, because the. You right there at the rainbow. If you really can beat Earl Spence, like you say, all you gotta do is go in there and do it, and then you ain't got no more issues with money and purse. But if you got, but if you think you, even if you lose, Crawford, if you lose and you go in there and give it what you got, if you ain't planning on retiring, you gonna sell better everything. This this fight can only help you. Only thing hurting you is the fact that you ain't willing to go in and do what you gotta do to get in the ring. But all you gotta do is take this fight, and if you go ahead, and if you still gonna fight on, you gonna make the type of money you evidently wanna make. You two fights away. You gotta have this one fight first. Ain't no way around that. If you talk to Floyd and some of the other guys who really had to earn their spot, they tell you the same thing. Now he ain't used to earning his spot. He was given that belt. Jeff Horn can't beat nobody. Not one top welterweight, definitely not none of them at the PBC. He can't beat Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, Earl Spence, none of them. Ugas, uh, Jeff Horn, that was a belt gifted, stolen from Eddie. So you never earned the spot you got now. You was on pound for pound and number one with ESPN because you was a top ranked fighter and they had a contract with ESPN and they gonna make sure Bob Man gonna be on top. That's why you was pound for pound number one. You didn't fight the right people to have that spot. That's just the truth. That's just the truth. That is just the truth. So if you come down off this illusion and get your ass in that ring and fight this boy and give it all you got, as much as I want Earl Hell, who knows, you might win. But you can't win sitting your ass on the sideline beefing and, 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 and keeping up a bunch of drama because you want to get more of that then the way, then the customary, the, the way things are done, they're not gonna change the way the sport of boxing is ran for no damn Terrence Crawford. It ain't gonna happen. But uh, but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like or subscribe. Till the next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.